so this is a premium kit from volt bike so let's see what are the components they are providing and what are the parts available in the premium kit i will explain you one by one so basically this is a 250 watts hub motor they are providing with the gate motor so if you need single motor also they will provide single speed for single speed motorcycles also and this is totally 250 watts hub motor they are providing so here you can see this battery comes with 36 volts 10 amperes with USB port rechargeable means you can charge your mobile or any gadgets from this battery itself so you can see what uh, how much battery available in the battery and you can see here this is a port for charging the battery and it is a detachable one you will be provide they will be providing with the key and you just unlock it and you can detach this battery easily so like this slide and again you can attach this like this so if you lock it, so it will be locked. And they are providing these sensor brakes. So right hand, left brakes, both are sensor brakes. And here you can see this is a throttle they are providing, horn button, and light also light and horn also they are providing. Front side it will be light and back side it will be horn. And this is a pedal assist. So five level pedal assist they are providing with a test proof one. So quality one. And this is a main wire where we can attach all these. Uh, throttle brakes everything to this and one side it is attached to the controller and this is a charger so 36 volts 2 amps charger they are providing and you can see here nuts and bolts also they are providing so that uh, you don't need to worry about any disc nuts everything so everything will be provided in the kit itself so now i assemble and show you how to assemble this cycle to the cycle and how it works so if we start from initially from motor so this is a motor so you can see here the um, pins you have to take care of the pins while attaching this so this is the one for motor while attaching this you have to see this arrow on both side you will have an arrow marks so we have to keep like this and press like this so like this you can attach the motor and you can see here one more wire so it is uh, for pedal assist you can see here yellow and yellow color so matching colors we have to attach while uh, attaching this you have to take care of the pins so you can see here one small hole and here is a segment one so you have to attach like this by going the exact hole then only it will be perfectly attached or else it will be bent pins will be bent and it won't work perfectly and here this is a main wire one so where you can attach this one to this so same like uh, you can see the arrow from here and uh, for this also there will be an arrow on mark on this so you have to attach correctly tightly and like this so this is completed and now we can attach these wires to this accelerator all you have to do is uh, matching color so this is one and this is so like this you can attach this and uh, there will be a brake wires where you can see red and red colors so here you have pins means here you have holes so you can attach any for any like right or left now then you can attach this to uh, And here you can see this is a black wire and this is a black one so pins you are having black so you can attach like this this is a display this one is for this side so you can see one wire is there with along with a long wire so you can attach this wire finally this is for So like this you can attach this all the wires and let's see how it works then let's see how it works so here you can see a button or m so if you press this for a long time it will be turned on so here you can see how much distance you are going how much speed you are going how much distance you have traveled so it will show you clearly and here you can see the power button so here you can calculate that how much power left in your battery and how much uh, charge you have to charge it like this you can calculate and here you can see pedal assist levels so if you press this less button the pedal assist level will be increased and if you press this minus button so the pedal assist level will be decreased and these are the there is a there are some modes in this uh, display so i will show you so if you press this button you can it will be in trip mode trip mode means you can calculate each time how much distance you have traveled from one location to another location you can travel you can calculate this trip mode and here you can show digital digital voltage levels so how much level of voltage it is available in the battery still 
so on the current mode so while you are cycling or when you are using the cycle it will show you that uh, how much current it is dragging from the battery and this is a t1 so this is a display time so how much time it has been on turned on up to now it will show you here and in this now some there is a particularly one mode which is a cruise mode so you, if you press this button the motor will be uh, continuously run with a kilometer of 3 to 4 kilometers per hour speed so i press this minus button see i am not even giving accelerator so just by pressing this button it will be continuously it will be going with 3 kilometers per hour or 4 kilometers per hour so this is quietly good in traffic areas so and here you can see and uh, it will show you how much torque it is uh, uh, taking from the motor so it will display here also while on cycling mode and you can see here there is a one particularly this is a smart one why we call this smart one means so if you remove this accelerator wire for example so just you can see here so it will show indicates that the throttle has been disconnected so you can see here i have disconnected this throttle disconnected and error also it will show unless we connect this it will show the same error so for example if i just connect like this so the error has been gone so i'm like this if you got any problem in battery or motor it will show here itself motor indication or battery indication so that you will not get to know that where you have got the problem and you can see these are the futures all this and if you press this light uh, long plus button so the light will be turned on and for hour on they are providing a wire so, so this is a button for hour on and you can see here sensor brake so here you can see if i press this brake so it will indicate that brake has been pressed symbol so you can see the brake symbol here when i lose it will go on so like this whenever any particular part is not working it will indicate in the display itself so that's why we call it as a smart display and we are providing so this is a charger and we are providing all the tools also including nuts and bolts so you can attach easily so let's run on see how it works so just by giving accelerator the motor will be run like this okay. and you can see here if i press this brake and give accelerator it won't move unless i release this brake it won't move so if i release this and if i give accelerator it is moving if i press this brake and if i give accelerator it won't move so this is one smart control like it will be used in traffic or hill areas very useful this future and you can see the five level pedal assist as i told you so you can increase this pedal assist levels so when i keep in high mode so I, if i just rotate this like this so the motor will start running like this so if i decrease this it will move slowly so these are the connections and this is how it works so mainly this is a smart display comes with the uh, five level pedal assist and cruise control mode also and you can see how much distance travel everything it is is more display and it is totally waterproof also so even you can rain in you can use in rainy days also so not it won't affect this battery or motor or display also even if you keep in rainy days it won't affect this so you can buy this kit at oldtbike.in and you can book this at just for 990 rupees in old bike website and you can get free home delivery and cod option also available for this